A coalition of local lawyers and voting rights advocates mess, met with the uh, Hines County Election Commission this afternoon to ask questions and discuss possible solutions after general election day was marred by ballot shortages. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake was there. And Richard, what can you tell us? What happened? Yeah, Melanie, it was often a meandering and simply confusing two hours that these advocates met with the Election Commission, but both left the meeting very confident about where Hines County will be set up and how they'll be set up for the 2024 elections. There were also some very key takeaways. The first being that the Hines County Election Commission uh, explained yet again that the ballot shortage was caused by an error in the ballot ordering process. As they have explained before, not enough ballots were sent to certain split precincts that caused the delays that we saw. The commission also said that they printed off ballots for 70% of registered voters. That's 10% more than the 60% that is mandated by law. The commission also shared that they received the ballots about a week before election day, but did not receive any proofs of the ballots themselves before then to confirm that they received the correct ballots. Hines County Election Commission Chairwoman Yvonne Horton says she's confident Hines County will not make the mistake again. The major issue facing Hines County, yes, we know which form to use. We're going to look at that one. Again, we apologize for using the wrong one. But what I'm going to talk about what came out of this meeting. A spirit of working together, and I get that from them. As a matter of fact, at the last meeting we had, one of the members of the coalition said, there are people here now that we don't agree with all they're saying. We don't agree with everything they're saying. Because there were issues brought up that were not our issues. Like today, there were issues brought up about the primaries. Those are not our issues. We don't deal with those things. So I look forward to working with them. Moving forward, the Heinz County Election Commission hopes to tweak the contract they are currently in with ES&S. That's the election system software that also handles ballot printing. They also hope to receive a more hands-on training from the Secretary of State's office. We'll have much more on today's meeting at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.